is a Bramble Jam podcast. Like a Polaroid picture. Hi, I'm Bram, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Panda, like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, I despise Hallmark Christmas movies, and this, this is, is the Deck the Hallmark, the Hallmark Podcast! podcast. Say it ain't so. Man. Hey, it's another week, another Christmas in July, another day for us to celebrate uh, Christmas here in the middle of the summer. I'm in here for it. In the middle of the summer, <laughs> I go walking in my sleep. Walking in my sleep. <laughs> to the Hallmark Channel. Hallmark Channel. Oh, I'm in so deep. Oh, I'm in so deep. Going to watch some Christmas. Watch, watch some, some Christmas. Christmas. Going to watch it all day long. Watch all day long. long. And the tree is wide. The tree is wide. And the tree is long. The tree is long. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Uh, man, it's good to be here today. My name is Brandon. I'm here with my good friends, Panda and Dan. Guys, welcome to the podcast. the history of his story intro. What did I do? Uh, my good, I'm here. I'm, I'm, my name is Brian. I'm here with my good friends, Dan and Dan. Guys, I'm just happy to be here is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to have some sour jelly beans because I didn't know we were starting and I, I'm set on these. Well, so let me, let them, me okay? talk a little bit about um, a couple of things. First of all, it's Christmas in July. Two episodes every single mm. week. We got two more weeks left this week, next week, and then we're back to the same old, same old, the grind, back to the grind. Um, until uh, late October, we get back to the, the good old days of Christmas movies. We're looking forward to it. Big news last week, 40 new Hallmark Christmas movies. Mm. Middle, of, middle of the Ow. pandemic. No <laughs> CEO running the boat. Doesn't matter. 40 movies, it's happening. Sometimes I think they just say things and hope for the best. I don't know, but I'm excited about it. Do you think they're going to do it? It's a Christmas miracle. I, I said, it was asked on the uh, Facebook group uh, a few weeks ago, how many movies do you think are going to happen? And I said, I think they're going to do 30 to 40. This is their big money maker. They're going to figure out how to do it. Come hell or pandemic, they're going to figure out how to do it. My thing is, is if the quality of these movies is what it is, imagine when they have to rush production. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine what that looks like. Oh, we got to really get this done. Don't worry about editing it well. We could be in for some real haymakers come Christmas time. Well, and what's great too is they're not like only committing to Christmas movies right now. Like there's been a there's been a, a movie that's airing next month that was filmed a couple uh, weeks ago with uh, Paul Campbell. Yeah. Um, but they're and, starting for so, they they're starting uh, October twenty third. October twenty third for the first Christmas movie they're going to release. So they're starting earlier than ever. Yes, and more as many as they've ever done. As many as they've ever done. Didn't they do 50 last year? No. 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 God, no. Stop. They did, don't I even think they, say that They out ended loud. on 38, I think. 38. They said so 40, but they, they, they pulled a yeah. few back. Yeah. Wow. But they, st they already have a New Year's one in the can from last year. I'm mm. sure that'll make an appearance. Yep. Et cetera. Country at Heart also making an appearance finally this fall, a full year later. Mm. Um, so we'll see. I'll believe it when the I see it. The crowning achievement of Niall Mater's work. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Country at heart. Now, Mater. Now, cool. Mater. Um, a couple of things really quickly. If you want to hear this show and every single show on the network, completely ad free, join Bramble Jam Plus. Bramble Jam Plus. I recommend it. There's some shady ads com. out there. There's some shady ads. <laughs> For those of you that are listening on, uh, we're doing our best to. We really are. Yes. Um, but a long story short, whenever there's uh, open inventory is what we call it, it right. goes out and anybody can claim it essentially. Uh, we have certain categories blocked. Some things have snuck through that we're not very happy about. We're getting to the bottom of it. So if you hear that, just know if you hear anything that you're like, man, that doesn't sound like something that they would approve of, just know that we probably didn't. And so just bear with us while we figure that out. Uh, we're with a new company. All that good stuff. So just thank you so much. But if you don't want to even deal with that, brainwatchandplus.com, it's so cheap. It's so easy. It's so cheap. 50 and bucks so easy. for the year, no ads. Could, I, could I do it? You, you could, could do, do it. it. You could do it. Me? You could do it. Yep. And you know the best part? I think the best part, especially right now in July, is that if you join... You're going to get an extra bonus percentage off from your Shirley's popcorn. Mm, yeah, because right now you're getting 10% for listening off with the Deck, pro, July 2020. Deck July 2020. But there's another code That's right. for the Bramble Jam Plus members, yes. and it's 25%, 25% off. 25% off. Which is basically free popcorn. It's crazy. You may as well do it. Um, we're, we're halfway through July. We would love for you to dive into the Shirley's we popcorn with two thirds us. of the way through July. Two thirds. We're the start of the third week of July. You said we're halfway through July. Yeah. When this airs, it will be the twenty first, July twenty first. In what world is that halfway of anything of a month? It's halfway. It's halfway of forty two. Halfway to forty two. <laughs> That's exactly right. How many forty two day months do you have this month? 
This month's 42 days? In this case. If okay. you extend it a little bit longer. So for the first 11 days of August, I'm going to call them July yes. all the way through. Yes. Okay. Yes. Shirley's Popcorn.com, uh, Deck that July 2020. That really couldn't have had his back on. No, I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's just because you're such a platter boy. I'm a platter it. boy. It's true. That's fair. That's fair. I'm a platter boy. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Deck July 2020. <laughs> BrambleJamPlus.com for That's more right. of this great stuff. Well, there's right. a show that, if you're a Deck the Hallmark Plus, there's a show you get called Here for the Bits. <laughs> And it's basically 40 minutes of us freewheeling doing improv bits. And I think it's the worst. That is not, no. First of all, you I don't l- think it's I the lo- worst. We laugh hard. I think it's funny. But the fact that that's a, a perk of being a part of our little club is hilarious to me. But if you want to hear us just do bits, if you're like, there's not enough bits on Deck the Hallmark, you get an episode called Robot, Robot, Robot. <laughs> Talk about robot, bits, robot, 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 Bits. Hey, we're back. Here for the bits. Here for the bits. Exactly right. <laughs> if people are listening, they're going to be like, And what? here for the bits is not, Dan, a, a improv show. It's about <laughs> three bits of news that you maybe missed. And we have it planned out to the T. Yes. That's right. You're right. I was wrong. Sorry. So don't <laughs> say things if you don't mean it. Okay. Hey, you guys ready to talk about um, um, uh, a dream, dream of Christmas? Dream a little dream for me. A dream of Christmas originally aired on December 3rd, 2016, and it went a little something like this. Penny and Stuart are married. She's very frazzled. Her sister and her husband and her, uh, her, their kids are living with her, and she's up for a promotion at work. There's so much going on in her life. She's late for and uh, the interview to get that promotion. She doesn't think that it went well. She's very upset about that. She then uh, gets a call from Stuart. Stuart got a call to go on a shoot photos out of town, even though he promised, I'm not going out of town again before the end of the year. But he's going to do it anyways. He's nervous to tell Penny. He calls her, lets her, lets her know. Um, she's super bummed by this news, and she wishes that she never got married while waiting in line for Santa Claus. Um, and then the lights flicker, and they go on their way. What was that about? They then get home. She's plugging in the tree, the star, um, and the lights flicker again, causing her to fall off the tree. When she wakes up, she's in her own bed. What's going on? Stuart isn't there next to her. Her sister's not there. Her sister's husband's not there. The kids aren't there. She made her family disappear. Oh, I made my family disappear? She's even got an artificial tree, which she would never have. She has a fancy car. The security guard at work knows her name. She has an assistant, and she's a boss. She's so freaked out, uh, so she goes to talk to her sister, um, who doesn't have a husband either, no kids. What is going on? She's walking around town, bumps into Angel Jane, um, and she was behind a Penny in line for Santa, and she made this wish come true. After some convincing from her assistant, she decides to seize the opportunity, to seize the day. Uh, She meets a hunky hunk, Andrew, not Andrew Walker, another guy whose name is Andrew, who she's going to work on his account. Um, She goes in for the big pitch to Andrew. Andrew loves it and clearly loves her and so asks her out for a drink. He's clearly into her and she's like, hey, I'm married. It's complicated. Um, so it's the day of the photo shoot for the new uh, marketing campaign, and Andrew's, uh, the photographer that's going to shoot it, cancels. And so she runs to find the best photographer she knows, Stuart. She finds him, convinces him to take the job. So he's coming to take pictures, and Penny starts to enjoy spending time with him and seeing him be in love with, uh, with taking pictures. And um, they start enjoying spending time together, and she invites him to the company Christmas party. Andrew's looking on, super jealous. She manages to set up her sister with her husband, and you know what that means. Uh, b- b- big, big fun for them because they're going to fall in love. Stuart brings his fiance to the party. That's right. Stuart has a fiance, and Penny's like, oh, gosh, this is the worst. So she goes home, and guess who's there? Angel Jane. And she's like, I hate to say I told you so. This is a bad wish. Uh, so Penny does the only reasonable thing. She goes to tell Stuart how she feels and to tell him uh, the truth. And she sees him with his fiance, and she's like, they love each other. Who am I to get in the way of that, of my husband loving another woman in another life? So who is she to do? Who would, who, who, who would do, who would do that? 
Um, and he's like, maybe if it was another time, it would have worked out. And she decides that she's going to put the tree topper that's there back on the tree out in the middle of the side, outside. <laughs> out in the middle of the side, yes. <laughs> and she falls off again, wakes up back in her house. Stuart's holding her. She kisses him. She's wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. She's hugging everybody. Um, and then she gets to call. She got the promotion at work. But she's turning it down to travel with Stuart, who's going to work on his book. They kiss. Everybody's happy. And that was A, a dream, dream of Christmas. Christmas. We did it. That's Man. exactly right. Middle of the side. Middle That's of the one side. one of the better ones. Middle of. And I don't think she falls again. I think she, she puts the topper on, and then it just goes back. She to falls. Ups. She fell. She, she falls. falls. I, I, okay. I took as a. A fall. Yes. A double okay. fall. You took it as a double she fall. She starts right, to corrected. fall. Stand corrected. Double and then fall. she wakes up on the ground. I was wrong. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. We all make mistakes. Yes. Take middle it to the, the side, for instance. Take it to the tape. I'd love to. Tape, don't lie. I would say middle of the side is less of a mistake and more of a new thing. So you're not going to take that one, huh? You're not going to say I messed up when I said out of the middle of the side. Was it what I meant to say? Not necessarily. Okay. But yeah. could I coin it? We'll work on it. We'll work on it, buddy. Hey, let's go to break. I'll work on it there. And then, uh, then we'll be right back. Well, Nino oh, Frida. Back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to A Deck of the Hallmark, the show that you're listening to for all of your hard-hitting Hallmark news mm -hmm. and movie breakdowns. That's right. Um, I met with my financial advisor last okay. week. Okay. And he showed me some things that I could move around in my portfolio. Yeah. And yeah I was yeah. like, thank you so much. And then I asked him, is there anything that we could do better on the show? Okay. The podcast. Yes. Yeah. What did he say? And he came with some pretty hard-hitting stuff. What'd he say? He said, what if you started with a hot take? What? I know. But, well, did we you tell him we already anyway. do that? I did, but he said, well, okay, but only if you start with Panda. So has he ever listened to the show? He is not. Okay, there he it is. It all not. makes sense Yes, now. but he's a good financial advisor, yeah, yeah. and I think we're going to do okay. Um, yes, he's a financial advisor for the show. I didn't oh, tell you guys. Okay. We're doing fine. Um, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Hey, let's start with a hot take. Let's start with Panda. Panda, what do you think of this movie? Yeah, like this one. It's uh, Here's what I like about it. First of all, it gives me it's a wonderful life kind of vibes mm -hmm. to it. Which, I think that's what it's going which for. Which I think it's what it's going for. Uh, light and airy. I don't know if they completely pull it off in this case. It's not done nearly obviously as well. Uh, but is it fun? Yeah, it's a fun movie. It's uh, It's got some uh, great scenes in it. Some ones that uh, were, you know, for me, nifty. Nifty. I would call I would call this movie. You're nifty. going nifty. I'm going nifty. Nifty. So your one word would be nifty for. If I were person. to sum up this movie in one word, two syllables, nifty. Nifty. Interesting. What do you got, Bran? I also agree. It's nifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, I love this movie, man. Like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding <laughs> me right now? A couple of things going on in this movie's favor. Thing one, they open up and they're married. Yeah. yeah Immediately yeah. different. Yeah. Immediately in. Um, and I'm very excited when that happens, when something's a little bit different. There's, there's she, she wishes that her, she wasn't married. Like That's not like the most happiest yeah. of storylines. Um, and it takes a little while for Stu to even come back into the movie. So much about this is different. So much about this is a movie that's wonderful. It gave me all the feels. I love, love, love this movie. Yeah, uh, it's a no for me. Um, so it does have a couple things going for it. It is different. And Andrew Walker and Nikki Deloach together are great. Great. 100% great. The rest of this movie is very difficult, borderline offensive. Uh, it is like the Adam Sandler vehicle click, but with less integrity. Like she cannot, Nikki Deloach's character cannot want anything of personal success in this movie. Right. She can't. She can't want to be successful at her job. She can't want to get the promotion. She can't want to be the boss. She, what she needs to find out in this movie is she should just be following her husband around, doing whatever he's doing to make him happy. That is the only possible thing that I could garner from this movie. There's zero integrity involved in it. It is a great premise with great actors, and they try to make it. They try it in this, in this movie to make it all about her. At the very end, they're like, they try to make it to where it's her decision and her blah, blah, blah. But it just is completely devoid of, a, of the reality of a relationship. And I didn't like it for that very reason. Huh. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't I, get him it, sometimes. It, 
nifty. He uh, he asks, he demands, do something different, do something different. Yeah, I will say this: the first twenty minutes, I was completely like bewildered at what was going on. And props to Nikki and Andrew for making something different. And they've got great chemistry, and they know what they're doing. Uh, it just was a movie that had just zero integrity. Here, in how here's they did why it. I disagree with that. I so love it. Here, here's He's why I disagree. Thought about it. Here he comes. So. He, <laughs> What you have here is Nikki gets exactly. I'm going to call her Nikki. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Nikki, Nikki gets exactly what she wants. She gets a chance to live the life that she's always wanted, and then, and only then, after a time of reflection for a yeah. few weeks doing this job, she comes back and she goes, "I'm not happy doing this." Because and so it doesn't seem like it belittles her in this case because it's not like what we see in other Hallmark movies uh, where somebody is like. Uh, oh, what I guess I've really always needed in my life is the fulfillment. What she realizes is I don't like being the high exec here. I don't enjoy this. I much rather enjoyed going around and supporting my husband and helping him launch this business. And I get to use all those same skills. So for me, it doesn't seem like it belittles. Yeah, I agree with Penny. And he, this is it's different than regular when the woman quits her job to right, follow the yes. guy. Because she realized in the grand scheme of doing this that she missed the thing that she had left. The reason that she misses everything is because she no longer has her husband. It's not the Jaguar and the promotion. She's tr been trying to get a promotion for years, and she says that in the show. But before they, she goes in the dream, she says, I've been trying to get right, a promotion. Exactly. I keep getting passed over. What she realizes is, is that none of this stuff is worth it. I'd rather have my husband, which is totally fine. I would much rather have my wife than a successful career. The point is, is that they make anything that's her being successful out to be something that's wrong. Even when, before the dream starts, they do that. Before the dream starts, it's like, this promotion won't come my way, blah, blah, blah. And I really only took this job so I could support my husband. And I really don't, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's, it's really just purely about her coming back around to just do whatever makes her husband happy. Now, if that makes her happy, great. It just seemed like it was taking five steps backwards to me. Okay. How, he wasn't the one that asked her to do that. He wanted her to do it. No, no, no. He didn't ask her to do it. He 100% didn't ask her to do it. But the point of the whole movie was she was happier not climbing the corporate ladder and she was happier just doing that. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that point. What I'm saying is, is that it really, sh that, that's not the way to go about this, this movie from a standpoint. You get a chance to have a different life. It should be other things other than your career's awesome, but you miss your husband. It shouldn't be one or the other. I don't, th I think you're, you're, you're narrowing it. I'm I not. That's I think the whole I, movie. He's narrowing it. I, yeah, you're being a narrow. You're gonna boy. go with brain on this one. You're being a narrow boy. Okay. You're being a narrow boy. Being a narrow boy. I've, I've tried not to, but I'm being a narrow boy, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> she doesn't it. need the fancy cars. She doesn't need the fancy coffees. Don't be fooled by the rocks that she's got. That's exactly she's right. She's still Nikki from the block. That's she exactly is. right. She she, is. she 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 used to have a if lot. If she wants to floss, she's got her own. That's exactly right. I have even said, if Andrew is broke, her love don't cost a thing. Yeah. Even. That's two J-Lo's. Yeah. <laughs> Go for a third one. Love don't cost a thing. Uh, hey, <laughs> it's time for all the feels. Part of the show, we're talking about what in this movie gave us those feels. For those of you playing at home, I bet that gave you the feels. Oh, for sure. Well, J-Lo? Um, Panda, feels for you? Uh, Man. Because I'm real. The way you talk, the way you walk. Little Ja Rule. Go for it. Pretty much any time Paula's on the screen, I get a feel. I like Paula, Who's the Paula? personal assistant. Oh. She's yeah. she's great in this. They, she's hilarious. They get her on the scene a lot. Well, and I think <laughs> this is one of the few times I feel like they utilize the B character incredibly well for what she's doing. I, I have... It, her as a personal assistant makes no sense. Her job doesn't make a bit of sense. But she's she's really showing fun. up to all the big meetings, all the big meetings, just actually, hanging out, yeah, contributing, in, contributing. Yeah. Like you know, a it's personal more of a assistant, business do. partner, right? Yeah. But I really liked her character, and at first I was like, oh, I don't know about her, but she grew on me throughout the entire show, and by the end, I really enjoyed that, and. I, I don't know. I, I liked. I, I I got feels from anytime Paula was on the screen. I, as far as this also, this movie has a lot of Christmas. It's, a, it's ton of Christmas. Christmas. a lot of Christmas. Christmas. A ton of Christmas. Good vibes. Yeah, I have a couple of things. One, to your point, a lot of Christmas, a lot of multicolored lights, which mm. I am a sucker for. There Me were too. a lot of multicolored lights yep. in this movie, and I noticed. I noticed Hallmark. I noticed, um, and I appreciate it, and it made me feel really, really Christmassy in the middle of the hottest thing in the 
world. It's so hot outside. Um, and also Chris Russell. Dude. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. He walks on screen and you got immediately mm-hmm. like, Chris Russell's in this movie? Chris Russell's so in this movie? Bonus, you're telling me, you're telling me, you're telling me, you're telling me, and there's a movie with Andrew Walker and Christopher Russell in this movie together? Are you kidding me right now? Calm down. They thought that that would like, no one would notice. Like no, no one would freak out about that. You're I'm freaking, freaking out, out about, about that. That's right. That's but in 2017 or whenever, Chris 16. Russell wasn't a Hallmark household name. He was not. Yeah, five, 16, He still kind of wow. runs under the radar. Even right. He runs right under. He, he runs is, under. He's, an under. he's like under the he's radar. Like, runner. Hey, I see a radar. Duck, duck, duck. And he just runs right under. Wow. It's pretty good, but he's a pretty tall guy. He's a pretty tall guy. He yeah. could play so a good duck. So my feels uh, is the pitch for Chris Russell's new business, Christmas in a Box. Everybody, like, that's supposed to be a bad thing. I Bray was watching the movie with me. As soon as they said it, I was like, I am all in for Christmas in a Box. Mm-hmm. I can go. Now, I don't like an artificial tree. You do. You're an artificial tree boy. Yeah. Aside from the tree. I would love to be able to go one place, buy one box for everything I need for Christmas and go home. That would be amazing. I was all in on it. Why doesn't it exist? It probably doesn't. I've not heard of it. I'm all in for Christmas in a box. Those are my feels. Did you not get a feel for when Andrew Walker walks in at the very end and she's like, if he doesn't notice me for in the first 10 seconds, then I know it's not a real thing. And then he looks and notices her at the last second. Well, that's why so wasn't good. that your feels? Your feels was the assistant. <laughs> I like the assistant. I like that scene. Okay. There's a lot of feel. If we're just narrowing it down to one feel. Dan, I know you. never have you, it down to just one feel. He did, t- he did. No, we had, we had feels. Dan, had you like to say that you're not a Grinch. And I'm not you, a Grinch. And that you love Christmas. I love Christmas. And this guy then proceeds to say, you know what would make Christmas better? Less work. If yes. it was just all, that's the, that's just how Christmas is. Christmas is a Christmas process. Is about working Christmas and going to a bunch of different is a stores. process. Your version of Christmas is a, is a the process. The best version of Christmas is a Your process. Version. The best version. I, I'm just confused. Why does Christmas have to be that much work? Because it's what, like you're putting yourself Some into it. Some people love Christmas not because of how much work it takes. They just love it. Who? Who? Me. Yes. Name more. Normal people. Oh, Middle of the road okay. people. Yes. Panda, where are you at here? You wouldn't feel like a little. Oh, li- please. If he takes your side. He I, knows Panda, remember, remember before kids when you liked Christmas yeah. and you used to set now up your. It work. It you wasn't used to work set up your Christmas it tree. Work Christmas. It work. You used to set up. Now you got a kid. You haven't done anything. But I will also say there's a yearning to do that. Also, like, it, it, but it doesn't I, happen. Why doesn't it happen? It's work. Yeah, it is work. But there, there's, okay. But it's something special about doing that. If you loved work. the work, if you loved the work, you would have done it the last two years. Just admit, if the Grinch was gonna celebrate Christmas, he'd do it this way. No. I think there's something to be said for the process, and there's something to be said for just wanting to enjoy the fruits of your labor, yeah. which is what but you want to do. Any answer other than he's right. No, any answer other than it could be either would mean that you have to work to enjoy Christmas. And that's not the case. You don't have to work to enjoy Christmas. I don't think you have to work to enjoy Christmas. I want to be clear. If somebody like, came I can in, still, like an interior decorator came in to decorate your house for dude, Christmas, that would be somebody baller. somebody decorated that my be, house, I would that would like be that. awesome. I wouldn't like it. Really? Yeah. He wants I want to go to I want to go to other people's house and enjoy their decorations, but I also want to decorate for Christmas but myself. You, you're telling me if you could It just makes sit me down. get in the Christmas spirit. Like, we decorate my okay. tree the day after Thanksgiving every year. We watch Elf, the kids are out. It's it's the it's the best tradition ever. No, you don't put your kids away. <laughs> I don't put my kids. The kids are running around. It's great. They're young. Yeah. But that is if I had to do something like that for more than a few hours, I would not be happy about it. No one's asking you to do everything in one day. Over the at any point over the course of the two months, if I have to do that bit multiple times, I'm out. There's something very special about we went and bought the tree, we brought it home, we're putting ornaments on it, we're putting lights on it, Elf is in the background. That is a very special moment that gets watered down if I'm do, I am have to do something like that. For but everything. Christmas in a box is the Christmas tree shows up already decorated. Christmas in a box is great because I get to do it all in one. But, but you would be swoop. fine not decorating the tree. As long as I got to do all of it. So like 
the Christmas in a box allows me to do all of it in the amount of time it takes. No, me to it doesn't allow tree. you to do anything. Everything's already done. But I have to put it up still. No, it just comes in a box. It comes then in a box. It's ready to go. No, no, no. It yeah. comes in a box. I still have to put it up. You still just put it up. It's no, already decorated. You, to go. you have to put it up all over the house. No, it's everything you then need. What's the difference? The difference is I don't. I, don't I like understand to do Christmas that. is a, in a box to be. Did you, you don't have to do her? anything. No, it all comes from one store. You still have to put it up. It's just everything yeah, it comes you need. with the ornaments. So what's yeah. what's your beef then with decorating for Christmas? Is I like don't wanna, the rest of the house. It's going and finding stuff from everywhere. But once you, you do it once, you don't have to do it again. That's not true. Yes, no. I've used the same Christmas lights every year for the I past only five do years. The tree and the movie. That's all. Right. I do. I don't what do I'm else. saying is, why? Like you would still okay. wouldn't do it, no. even if you got everything in a box. No, you still true. wouldn't I go put on that. I my house twice. I hated every single. Yeah, you wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it again. I so what does this change? It changes the fact that I can do more in less amount of time. It's more efficient. What more would you do? Whatever's in the box, Brian. I'll you would, do it. You would it's put it, but, but the lights go on the house. Whatever's ready to go in the box. They explained a ton of things. I watched this movie a week ago. I don't remember them, but it's not just a tree and lights. There are yes. other things in the box. I would do everything then You'd make that the I cookies. don't do now. You'd make the cookies. I'd make the cookies. Wait, if it came in the box. If it came in the box. So the reason you don't make Christmas cookies is because you don't- I don't want to take the time to do it. Buy the thing separate. Find a time to do it. If but Christmas, the only step you're saying, like I you get the box out, but you could order uh, cookie stuff on the Amazon. No, you wouldn't have to go. I'm not going to do it once again. Now we've gotten past one step. I'm not doing it. I don't get it. So uh, here's where I'm at now that I've learned a little bit about Dan's little bit. love for Christmas. Yeah. Dan's love for Christmas is like it's one the day. laziest version of Christmas. It's, it lasts one day. He can, is, he's only got one day in a couple hours. This is how I am with everything. If, yeah, but I want it to be more I efficient. I think you've sold us a bill of goods here because I've, I've you are like I love I'm passionate about Christmas. I'm I love Christmas. Super passionate all, about Christmas. I'm not passionate relative about, to you. I'm relative not, to you. This is maybe the most passionate thing you. I am not passionate about decorating ever. For, I think I'm I, not passionate about decorating. I'm passionate about Christmas. And I want to be clear: in the last two years, in one day, I've done more than you've done in the that whole. That's correct. Years. But okay. I've also okay. yeah, I had kids. You had kids. We both yeah, had kids. Yeah. Okay. Sleepy boy. I've been sleepy. Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. You, haven't sleepy sleep. boy. you haven't been sleepy. You, know what? I you haven't been sleepy. I did it anyway. Sleepy. I did it anyway. Yeah. Because I love Christmas. That's right. No. Okay. I, yeah. I believe you like Christmas. Okay, I don't believe that if everything came in a box, you would do more. I think you're content doing what you do. I don't think this exists for a reason. I don't think you can put everything you need in a box for one time. I don't, I don't well, if we tried it. it. Well, because, what, the, because that's relative. Deck the homework.com slash Christmas in a box. Because it's relative. Like, what is everything you need? Everything that you need is not everything I need. That's right. True. 100% true. What do you need that we wouldn't need? What makes you so much better? Extra cookies. Extra, well, yeah, no. I well, But I put up more decorations. Like, I put up decorations outside. Dan, well, if you could need buy that. add-on boxes. Then it wouldn't be Christmas in a box. It'd be Christmas in boxes. <laughs> yeah, but you could... You can get a, a bigger box. Hey, yeah, let's, con big let's box. continue to talk about this uh, off-air. Because this is not a bad idea. We're going to go break, and we'll be right back. So then so in the fourth this box, is the weird box, you make a, like it comes, <laughs> it's the weird box. Yeah. So are we good? Uh, you're telling down, me there's a real upside life. down Christmas tree. Yeah. Man. You pull it out. It, it like, it's an accordion. Yeah. You cut from the shop. You get, cut <laughs> from get, the shop. You get it. Hey, those watching on our Facebook page, were getting very like a little uncomfortable. With oh, really? That guy. <laughs> <laughs> and here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to know about us is, is that when we're not on camera, we're here for the bits and we're here for dumb arguments. Like those two things <laughs> define our relationship. Brandon, we have argued yeah. about whether or not Brandon should have known to pull a door or push a door. Yes. That's been based for weeks upon, now. For weeks. It is what we do. We love each other. I promise. They're wrong on this. <laughs> it's just the assumption that if more came in one we central can box, on. we can move on. I don't know if we can. Hey, you guys want to talk I'm, about the I'm walking. My wait, what is what the heck Dan's talking about? <laughs> if more stuff came in the box, I'd do it. The problem is I got to go multiple places. <laughs> Let's do the wait, what's uh, Panda? Hunter, wait. Man, there's so many here. I will say, can, let me preface all of this. This okay. is my first preface of a wait, what? This movie took a very long time for me to get my first wait, what? Yeah. For well, me personally, I think we're so th we're thrown off by the fact that they're married. Right, it's dream sequences. There's so much that we have to kind of get our Parse footing with. Right, that we missed a bunch early on. I think, and I think if I went back, there probably yeah. would be more. However, one of the first ones is, and I believe it's her assistant. I can't remember exactly who says this to Nikki. She says, "You look white as a sheet, and not in a good way." Yeah, I just want to. 
Has yeah. there ever been a time someone has used it? You look white in the shades. Great look. Like, has that ever been used in a good way? I don't think so. <laughs> so once you got past the feels of the assistant, you were able to point out that way. What? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of feels, but, but she also dumb. had this one line <laughs> that, that was stupid. That was kind of a dumb, that was a dumb thing. Um, I'm, she's, her pitch to the guy who Chris owns, Russell. Yeah, Chris the Andrew Russell. In this the Andrew in this movie is... What if you used an app, which in 2014, 2016, 16. is that when it came out? 2016. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even worse. Yeah. Apps are a legitimate thing. And most retailers have them at this point, especially when they're talking about the size and scope of what yeah. you can assume this company is. And he goes, oh, I'm in like, he's never heard it before in his entire life. It's an old school company. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Finally, Andrew, Andrew Walker says, um, he, she helps him carry his bag. She, he says, my studio is just a couple blocks from here. I want to point out, she's already been to his studio. She already knows it's a couple blocks from here. That's right. But he doesn't know. Does he know that? She's yes. been in the, yeah, you're yeah. right. She has, that's right. Yeah, so, yeah. Wait, that's where his, like, I didn't know that he had a studio. Yeah, he that's had a studio. That's where he was doing. Okay. What's also he in the, doing in, in the, the studio? In the dream reality, he has a studio. Yes. I don't know. I don't think he has one in the real So, so what are you saying? I'm sorry. He said, what he's saying is, is she goes and finds him at the studio. Yes. And then later in the movie, they're leaving somewhere and she, she says she'll help him carry something. And he says, my studio is only a couple blocks from there. He, she knows yeah, where she the studio is. She knows where the studio is. She's, she's been. been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's Mobby, been Mobby, Mobby, Mobby. Also, I don't understand Mobby. what he's- Mobby. That's Mobby. Mobby. Hey, hey, Mobby. Mobby. Over here. All right, right there. Mo B he, for brand. B for brand. <laughs> he, he, one final thing here. The Christmas miniature- Thing that he's photographing. He says, I'm on the tight yeah. deadline for yeah. this. For what? For what are you on the tight deadline? Yeah. Everything that would need this, if you're photographing it for a company, that deadline's passed because you're yes. a week from Christmas. Yeah. There is no tight deadline. Yeah. You're shooting for next year's catalog, Andrew. Yeah. It's on a tight deadline. Not a tight deadline. You're just being rude. Don't be rude. <laughs> you're just being rude. Um, Andrew Walker sleeps in jeans. Yeah. Andrew Walker covers. sleeps in jeans on top of covers. Sleeping with my clothes on. That's like, I. have you ever tried to sleep with jeans on? Yes. Like I've tried to like lay down. I'm going to take a quick oh, nap. No way. I can't do Not it. Not happening. It immediately like takes all the sleep out Not of me. Not happening. It's like the jeans go, took, took your sleeps. Um, the guy, there's a guy at her office. Uh, she hands him a candy cane. And he, this is the way that he eats candy canes, which I've never seen before. This is the best. He rips it from the he middle. Snap, <laughs> he snaps. Snaps it and then grabs a piece from it and then puts that in his mouth. And he eats half of it, but when they go away from him and the camera comes back, he's got a full candy cane again. Yeah. It's not great. No. Not great in the editing. But, but if that's how you eat candy canes. Rushing those 40 movies is going to make this editing better. Yeah. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> if you eat a candy cane that way, like, just let me know, like, why? I'm sure there's people out there that do that, and I just want to know why, why, yeah. why, why you do yeah. it. Um, Andrew Walker is shooting the picture of the box, the stuff in the background, yeah. and he's doing what 100% of photographers do. That's right. Where they put the thing that you want to look at in focus right. in the middle, and the stuff behind it out of, out focus. of focus. Yes, You're right. And Andrew mm -hmm. Christopher Russell is like. Why is everything not in focus? <laughs> He's never seen a photo before. It's the same guy that doesn't know what an app is, to yeah. be fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Maybe he's like Benjamin Button. And Maybe he's really old somehow. <laughs> an app location? Uh, why is everything not in focus? And I, like Andrew, God bless Andrew Walker. He does a really nice job of explaining like you want your eye to be drawn to the thing. And they did more job, more uh, 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 a really good job of explaining that, and they didn't need to because everyone knows. Like it's, it's a it's a picture. Look at this photograph. <laughs> and then at the party, um, there is a girl walking around. It's you know how you do at parties where you have the things and yeah. you're walking around yeah. and stuff. Yeah, cookies, etc. Yeah, she's got a full lobster. Lobster. She's got a full <laughs> We're lobster. lobster off paper plates, off paper with, plates her hands. with her hands. <laughs> That's that can't a, happen. That's like I want to see it really badly because it sounds like it'd be a sight to the behold. The best part about that is if somebody goes, "Oh, there's lobster over there's there." Lo <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the hors d'oeuvres table and grab some lobster. Lobster. It's right next to the crab legs. Yes. <laughs> like what is what is happening, dude? That's that's either the, sit down and serve lobster or stand up and don't. That's Christmas parties for the marketing. That's I think I would do for it. You. Really, I would do a stand up lobster. Yes, you would. Mm. You would. I, I would love to see it.
I'm going to. Christmas Let's, party this year for Deck the Hallmark. Oh, okay. I Bringing love that. Bringing the real lobsters. We all stand up. <laughs> uh, Dan? Yeah. Uh, once again, I can't believe I'm saying this sentence, but once again, we have a movie where the publication of a book hinges on photographs of a reindeer. <laughs> that, it didn't happen once, guys. This is the second time in July that the publication of an entire book hinges on pictures of reindeer. <laughs> what are we doing? They're really good reindeer. That, they must be. These are Alaskan reindeer. Um, they're Alaskan. Alaskan. They're not just any reindeer. Those Alaskan reindeer. They're exotic. Uh, so he's he doesn't he couldn't possibly have a deadline for this these pictures that he's taking. But my question is, why is he taking high resolution photographs of a tiny Christmas town? <laughs> Who hired him for that job? Who went? All right, I got a little train set here. <laughs> it's a Christmas train set. And I don't want to snap pictures on my phone. This is a really good I don't have a camera that can do it. But you got the zooms and the flashes. I want some high-res glamour shots of these bad boys, and I want them stat. Dude, I got to be honest, though. <laughs> Very valid. But that is a dope Christmas village. Can we all agree? <laughs> like, that's a dope village. It was a fine village. It was, it was a dope. way hey. better. It was a dope village. No, it was not. Dude, I look at dopevillages.net. That's the one. Wow. I've been there. And that I, is the village from Dope Village. That's the village. Yes. Wow. I are didn't you, see it coming. Are yes. you sure it's the same one? I, I am That's 100. why he was on deadline. It was Dope, Dope Village of December. Oh, yes. man. Um, I also have a question. Not Matt. The beginning and end of this movie. At the beginning of this movie, she comes downstairs and she's late for work. And her sister and her husband are down there. Baby's eating, whatever. Why are they all living in one house? They mentioned this. Don't they? They don't. That I think there's a house under live. construction. Yeah, their house was okay. under construction. Yeah, under construction. Thank you, because I was like, what is happening to where it's she can't under even construction get dressed said in she'll her be out in a few weeks. Yeah. Um, and I get that in the dream, things are different. She's called the Barracuda. She drives a Jaguar. But why does her taste in beverages change in the dream versus in reality? Like, in this dream sequence... It's the taste buds of success. Uh, it's the taste... What you said it. It's <laughs> taste the taste buds, buds of, of success. success. The taste buds of success. Weirdly enough, that's the motto of dopevillages.net. <laughs> dope not dead. And I don't know why. I don't either. That's weird. It just says dopevillages.net. So you mean to say when you're successful, your, your taste, taste buds, buds change. change. That's why rich people eat caviar. That's right. Yeah. I would never have. I, I, I wouldn't know that. You would not. No. I would. None of us would know. Yeah. I, Panda? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. You yeah. would. You're a caviar boy. Yeah. Oh, I love You've it. You've been drinking a lot of tab lately. Oh, Tab gosh. soda. What Can is, you tell me more about how great tab is? Uh, I'll tell you five things. Great. One. What, what is the amount? Two. Super. Three. <laughs> sugary. It's not sugar. There's zero sugar in tab. Three. Sugary sometimes. Nope. Never. It's never sugary. Sugary substitute. Four. Tasty. <laughs> five. G get it. Get it. All right. You get. What me is none. the amount of money someone needs to make a year to like caviar? Because you know it's the taste buds of success. Ooh. I think it's a mil. A mil. A mil. Yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Halfway there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are we? I don't know. Are, are we halfway there? Um, early on, when Angel is- I an sold Christmas in a box. Is it Angel Jane? Yeah, uh, Angel, Angel Jane. Angel okay. Jane, yeah. So they're talking. Angel and Nikki are talking. Yes. And one of them says, the big guy. And the other one said, who's that? And then they both look up. Is it Santa or God? Because later they say that the big guy is Santa. And they never call her an angel. And I know that that sounds like a what the hallmark, but- it's Santa. We know it's Santa. And they have an exchange where they go, the big guy. And the, the other, Nikki goes, who's that? And she looks up. Like, maybe, is Santa maybe above like, us? Well, maybe North. Santa rise, fly, rise, fly. rise, fly. <laughs> Santa, rise, fly. Number two, get, you get it. You get it to where you can do it. I was trying to say flies. It's not God. No, nah, she's looking up north. Up north. Up north. <laughs> you know, north, south, is east, a, west. A, that, I don't know. No, no. That doesn't make sense. Just looking north. <laughs> and then somebody in this movie decides it's a good idea to say more hashtag traffic than rush hour on the I-90. You, you're fired. And then lastly, the she gets very, N Nikki Deloach gets very sad when she sees her husband is engaged to someone. And rightly so. And so she goes to have a good cry. And she goes where any of us would go to have a good cry. The steps leading into the kitchen where servers have to walk in and out all the time. Yeah. That's yeah. where she goes. 
Could she go to the bathroom? Sure. Nah. Could she go to her car? Absolutely. No. Let me go to the, the highest, gone home. the highest foot traffic spot in the entire building. Yep. Where people are going to walk nonstop, and let me just sit down and ball my eyes out. That's what she does in this movie. Doesn't make any sense. Dan, you've never balled at a party. If you had, you'd know where you I go. I balled at parties all the time. Oh, ball so hard. <laughs> Dude, we only ball at parties. That's it. People walk in, those are the baller boys. Those are the baller boys. Those are the They're baller boys. So they ball hard. at parties. Yeah. Party. Party. <laughs> hey, guys, let's do what the hallmark is. Tomorrow's show where we wonder what could have been. Yeah. What would maybe happen? That would. Change the game. Give some clarity Clear the questions, questions that we still have. have. How many times? You'll never be a part of the Baller Boys. No, no matter how hard There's you no try. Baller Boys for you. Can I try? You could try. But Trials not, next week. Well. Trials are next week. Next week. I'm not ready. You should be. Did you soon? Noon next Wednesday. <laughs> Panda. Um, I'm. He, he, my wait what is... There has, is no wait what. We're done with wait what. It's what's a homework. <laughs> That's what I said. Give some Dude, clarity to the question. Hey, that we invitation still have. revoked. You, Baller boys. No, I can't. You can't, boys take it you, can, you, you can't take it you away. You can try it next time, but not this time. Not this time. Not today. Two weeks from tomorrow, actually. Two weeks from tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, I'll be ready. Man. Well, the baller boys, they, when, they when have two a Wednesdays. lot. Yeah, yeah. When you know, Every Wednesday when you know, trials. When you know it, you got it. I, here's what I want to know. And they don't explore this. And this, to me, seems like it would be something that you should explore more. Did she just not miss her kids? Like, there's she, does, no, she doesn't like, have any kids. Nikki? Nikki Deloach has zero kids. No, Cause like the kid, the children, not her kids, but the the the, the niece nieces and, nephew. and nephew. No, who would? No, that wouldn't. Why would that come up? Because this is gone. about her and her relationship with her with her husband. The kids don't even live with her. You thought she had children, and you no, tried no, to, no, the kids. You live thought with they her. had kids they live right with her. now. Yeah. Because of construction. But you she, thought she had kids. I did not think that she had kids. I have it written down. You thought that not she had kids. kids. She had no what kids. What does it say? No, you say? can't look at my She doesn't have. You thought she had no kids. All right. You thought she, had, you kids. Thought she had kids. You, you thought, thought she had, had kids. kids. What's it say? Show us. No, he's going to change it. No, I can't. What does it, it say, Dan? Does it say Nikki Deloach's kids? Question mark. Uh, hold on. Hold, please. Well, while you're getting that, I'll share mine. Um, there is. Um, there's a situation. And it's to the point that Dan had about Santa. And it's what is the role of Jane? Right. Yeah. If Santa is the, like, Santa can, Santa knows when you're sleeping, knows when you're awake. He cannot, though, hear a conversation that's happening right no, over no, no, there. No, no, he no, He needs, no. he needs James over there. This is how his power is checked. Yeah, this is how his power is checked. He needs different he people. Needs Jane. So Jane, that's why it didn't happen immediately, because Jane had, Jane had to talk, Jane. <laughs> Jane had to talk to uh, Santa after his shift was over. <laughs> And say, hey, there was this girl she wished. I just want to know how it all happened. It's all very still up in the air for me. And that's what I want to know. Dan? Okay, so she yeah. doesn't time out. She doesn't have kids. Yes. I'm willing to concede that. No, that, that was never, are you, are you conceding that you thought she did have kids? That's you thought they were no, I'm willing to concede that she didn't have kids. Yes, no, no, you don't no need one to, asked you to concede truth. that. That's the truth. But I'm willing to do it. But and did you I think, think that's what's she important. did? I can't yes, comment on yes, that at this point. Yes. I might have gotten a little topsy turvy for a second, That's but fair. things Happens are ironed out now. Are things ironed out? Because you're still not admitted yet. <laughs> it's okay. We got all we need. We got, we got plenty of tape. <laughs> uh, plenty of tape. So uh, this movie could have been called A Dream for Christmas, Money Who Needs It. I, I want to know how they're affording what they're affording with a middle management employee and, and a husband that's not making any money. And then when she quits, how are they going to afford it at that point? The book's still not done. We still don't have reindeer picks. We have a lot of travel left to do. I just want to know, I want to know their envelopes. I want to know how they're keeping it afloat. Is it all credit cards? Would Dave be upset? I got Dave a lot of questions. Dave would be upset. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Hey, we did it, everybody. We did it. We did Congratulations, it. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We have another episode on Thursday. We're very excited. Oh, yeah. Our good friend Jonathan Shapiro is going to be joining us to talk about Christmas Next Door, the case of what are their houses, walls made of we're looking forward oh, to boy. that <laughs> so um, before that. we do it is time for the double decker of the week double, double decker, decker of the week, week. It's, it's my decker, decker. It's, it's your, your decker, decker. decker everybody is week. a double decker uh, <laughs> uh it ah. is the part of the show where we talk about people who have signed up for uh, uh bramble gym plus and our uh our good friend panda has dove mm. deep 
Yeah. To find out their stories. Deeper Whether than I normally do. Today, you guys. looked at me like Dove Deep was wrong. <laughs> yes. I was excited. They've divin deep. I I I I am I have prepared in. I've prepared myself to Golden. assume I'm gonna Golden. get made fun of even if it's right. In over my head, I um, wanna be I uh you you look up people's backstories, mm-hmm. whether or not they have kids, etc. You're never wrong. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so you're a stalker. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Whether we, or not they have kids, that's not necessary. You guys you guys pay me. It was the Nikki, car Nikki. Nikki. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't yes. I got you. Go it ahead. Sounded stalkers. Who do we have today? Andy Grimes. Yes, because none of this is stalkers. The fact that he looks at their backstory That's is true. not That's stalkers. True. Andy Grimes, Amber Mace. Oh, Andy Grimes, Amber, 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 Amber Mace. Andy Grimes, Amber Mace. Andy Grimes, Amber Mace. Uh, they decide to start a new organization called Lucy Goosey. Okay. Yes. All right. I am in so far. I'm in for this. Uh, and they are anti OSHA. So, what does that mean? That means exactly? they want to free all the geese. N- no. They, what does it mean exactly to be they, anti-OSHA? They want less rules in the what workplace. It, tell me what OSHA is. That's the organization that keeps you safe. OSHA. That's true. That those are the workplace the organization laws. Organization that keeps, keeps you safe. safe. Yeah, that's not yeah. what it stands yes. for. But it is no. a workplace yes. law. Yes. 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 OSHA. So it has nothing to do with geese. No, they it has to do more Lucy Goosey okay. rules. So they want you to be able to do what you want at whatever so you give want. Give me an example of a nationwide OSHA rule that Lucy Goosey would say no. Well, it's more specific than that. They go into different companies and they say, "What are the rules? You don't need them." There. But the thing about OSHA is, is that they don't craft rules that are just here for these people and not for these people. Yeah, the I've OSHA understood OSHA as being actually. Uh, pro worker, like they're the people that yes. fight for That's workers' right. comp. Right. Right. OSHA sure, is sure. the occupational so they, safety and hazard. Right. So they want less. They want less of that. They want more fun. So they want to be on the side of management. If a worker gets hurt, they don't want the worker to get any mm. sort of. They don't want anyone get hurt, but they want more fun. They but want they, more that fun. would lead to probably injury. I right? don't think so. Do it you not on what you're talking about? Do you, do you not think? Example. Okay. So, okay. but uh, like workers comp, if someone gets hurt, they still get paid. That's right. You don't want them to, they don't want that to happen anymore. Oh, they, they want you to Lucy get paid, than that. but they want it loosey goosey. They're very chill about it. And I love it. I'm all in. First of all, like less steel toed boots. Okay. Yeah, so that sounds like they're really anti-worker. Yes, is what it they want like workers to, to get you hurt. Are, you're talking about some sort of capitalist but, crony that's up there collecting all the money and just what are their thoughts on hard hats? Well, are they comfortable? Do they make a good fashion? You can if you want. But they're, they're not going to stop you. But what happens if they get injured? Well, that's it's like- also loosey goosey. Well, it's- you can't have rules loosey goosey and have. Uh, have have payments tidy whitey. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> tidy whitey. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, hundred percent. So it's you could get it. both ways. They so they, uh, how they decide to they roll dice. If you if it comes up aces, you get you get your your payment. You the comes, snake eyes, one on each aces. I know what that means. If it comes up aces, yeah. If it comes up, so. so Ex- this is there any like, workplace that's pro this, this? No, this sounds like a a worker's torture chamber. So follow the rules or don't. You got hurt. Let me roll dice to see if we're going to support you. we have you. to roll aces. Yeah. Boy. These, but it's Lucy and, Goosey. Andy Grimes, fun. Amber Mace, we love you. Thanks for supporting us. But you're monsters. Yeah. No, I think that monsters. they're wonderful people. And first of all, I'm trying to implement it here in the work environment here. We and need it's less not going rules. well. Yeah, we have it's so not, many rules. We Brandy have, keeps slapping me, and I keep trying to see if I can get. But we've not rolled aces yet. We've not rolled aces. Not rolled aces. <laughs> Ow! Roll aces! Roll aces! <laughs> oh, it's another 3 4 combo. Oh, no! <laughs> Five, six, pick up. (laughs) Guys, thanks for listening. We'll be back on Thursday with another episode. Until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Friendly TV and recorded live in Greenville, South Carolina at the Bramble Jam Podcast Network Studios. It's produced by Brandon Gray. You can find out more information at deckthehallmark.com.